So Sam and Kevin and Hannah found out that I did a live show today and they decided to give me a private live show. <laughs> and there they are. <laughs> oh, you can't hear them because I have headphones in. Good morning guys, it is a really nice day out, no clouds yet, um, gonna start my day out by working out, and Roxy's sleeping on her pee pad, um, Hannah always makes fun of me for listening to a podcast while I work out instead of music, and I don't know why I do it, but um, I listen to This American Life, if you guys haven't listened to it, it's great, um, I've gotten lots of ideas for movies from that podcast, um, but I don't have any solid plans for today except filming with Buddha Dottie. Uh, but hopefully Ali calls me and we can work on our project a little bit. Roxy gets to go for a little bonus walk today because I need to drop something off across the street. She's exhausted. Come on. Come on. She's looking across the street because there's a restaurant that she wants to go eat at. So I asked my mom to make a salad for food with Dottie. It's a salad, that, it's really simple, but I really like it. She sent me to the grocery store to get some ingredients. I need three tomatoes, three cucumbers, parsley, and a baguette. She made, told me to make sure I get the skinny baguettes and the skinny cucumbers and make sure that they're really firm. Apparently my brother is a great grocery shopper because he always gets the freshest vegetables. My dad's not so good at it, but let's see how I do. So how did I do with picking out the cucumber? <laughs> Good because it's not mushy. It's nice and hard. The skinnier the better for me, but this isn't this is Yeah, I tried to get a skinnier one, but they're all kind of mushy at the end. Yeah. You don't want mushy. My mom and I just finished making this salad. Or she made it, I filmed it. Um, for food with Dottie. So if you want to see how to make it, that'll be up tomorrow. Sometime probably mid afternoon. It's really, really good. I just laid down to take a nap and it sounds like a thunderstorm is about to happen. It's gonna start pouring any minute. There it goes. Summer is supposed to have the longest days of the year, but they end up being cut short because it gets really dark out because it rains every afternoon. I like it though. Um, I don't think I've shown you guys my share yet. Evan's sister and his dad made them, and they have J O L A, which just means. Just love one another. You can see it probably on the back of my shirt. I don't know if you can see it. I'm doing this right. Um, but I really like the colors. My mom is out right now, so I'm gonna make a little pesto pasta for dinner for the family. And I went to boil some water, and this lid will not fit on the pot. And I realized that it is bent. Can you see it? Right here. Don't know what happened. Hopefully my mom already knows about that. So Hannah showed me this little trick that you can do with socks to put in your hair to make a perfect bun. And I just <laughs> asked my dad for one of his socks. He was so confused. He's like, why do you need it? I was like, oh, you put it in your hair. And he's like, what do you mean you put it in your hair? I was trying to explain it. It was really funny. But he gave me one of his socks. So I'm going to try it. So she said to cut the end off like that. I just put the sock in my hair and it's humongous. It's the biggest bun ever. Looks like a little who. Roxy has a ponytail too. Little cheerleader. You embarrassed? Just got a great idea of what to do at the end of the sock. I'm gonna give it to Roxy as a little beanie, a little hipster dog. You little hipster? Huh? You little hipster? I like that. This looks more like a uh, monkey hat. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed after I do the dishes. And tomorrow, gotta run again. Um, Jessie has a job that makes her work all day, every day, so I haven't been able to hang out with her. Uh, but hopefully, I've been saying this every day, but hopefully I'll hang out with Allie tomorrow. Um, my cousin doesn't come until Monday, so I'll, I think tomorrow I'm going to work on creating a list of fun things that we can do while she's here. Because um, I remember when I visited 
I just want her to feel comfortable. Um, so, I don't know. We gotta ask her if she likes roller coasters because we might go to Universal and I have to warn her to wear shorts and bring cool clothes because it's a million degrees here. Uh, but I think we'll probably go to the beach most of the time. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. Hope you guys have a great night and I'll see you tomorrow. California is waiting, is waiting for you.